This is a picture here of my beautiful mother, who is so amazing. And, you know, I it made me think about when it comes to women who are wife and marriage material. My mother was an amazing, amazing lady. Six kids, six children, five boys. I'm the only girl. And when I think about where exactly does being marriage material and wife material get you these days with these men of today? Where exactly does being a wife, does being wife material get you with these men other than dragged through the mud, years of your life wasted, being used, cheated on, and completely, completely taken advantage of? You become nothing but a beaten down workhorse. Even the wives who are considered to be wife material and marriage material, these women get treated like absolute garbage. You know why? Because it takes a very, very special kind of man or a very special kind of person to really appreciate someone who have decent morals and decent values. And it's hard, if not impossible, to find those type of men this day and age. Now, my mother wasn't going to let nobody beat her down, but my mom was a hard worker. I mean, this was an amazing woman. Our house was immaculate. She made sure that we had everything that she did not have. This is an amazing lady. I love her so much, and I miss her. We were best friends. This lady here, before she made her transition, she wrote me a letter, and it was the most beautiful letter ever to her daughter. She said to her best friend, and she told me to stay on the right track and don't ever stop serving Jehovah God and following Jesus Christ. And I, I'm doing everything in my power to make my mom proud of me, you know, to live my life the way I know she would want me to, you know. But like I said, what good does being marriage material and being a good wife, where does that get you today? Drag through the mud if you let them. Because I wasn't going to let anyone drag me through the mud. Oh, no. <laughs> years of wasted life. <laughs> I know poor women who have been stuck for 20, 30, and 40 years. And they're still constantly being put putting up with this, this nonsense. You know, I have my girl, TKO. I like the way she expressed it, too. Let me share that with you. Here's how she expresses it. And how she responds to someone who uh, can't appreciate that women of today are not signing up to be <clears throat> mothers or wives. I responded to him and I said, your grandmother was a beat down workhorse who cried herself to sleep at night while your grandfather spent his money on the girl up the street. Neglecting his home while your G-Ma did everything on her own. In the kitchen, sweating with a buckled knee, arthritis, and high blood pressure. While the children she produced, most likely your father, learned that that's the quote-unquote way it's supposed to be. And the girls, your aunts, learned that will never be me. So your deadbeat pappy took you to granny's house where you were doted on while your daddy ran the streets. You don't know what the reality was in these grown people's house. You were a child. Now you're mad that women of today don't want the same fate. Wake up because we have. So I responded. I love the way she ended that, trying to tell men in this world and women who think that be getting married is a flex or an accomplishment because it's not. It really isn't. Actually, it's, it's a demotion. And it shows that you're, you know, it's just, to me, it seems like it's a demotion. It's not really a flex, and it's not an accomplishment or an achievement. You know, um, but like uh, TK, Tonya TKO says, uh, wake up. You know, just wake up. And I have my girl, my girl, someone else who I admire incredibly, named Sherry. And she says, based on how you look, it has nothing to do with how a man will treat you. Because a lot of women feel that if you're beautiful, if you have a nice body, you're going to be treated beautifully. And you're going to be treated better 
than other women. Let's listen in. I think that the way they look equates to how they get treated. Okay. Too many women think that the way they look equates to how they get treated. When what you look like, where you live, what kind of hair you have, what kind of eyes color you have, what kind of body shape you have, has nothing to do with how a man is going to treat you. That man's character that you choose to select and deal with has everything to do with it. You may be totally opposite of what society considers, you know, pretty or beautiful. But if you have standards in terms of the type of men that you choose to deal with, you will win and be more successful in love than a woman that is supposedly drop dead damn gorgeous out here. You know, what women have to understand is that a man can have a woman who is every single thing that he supposedly desires. But if he has poor character, he will still cheat on her. He will still lie on her. It's not reflective of the woman, you know? And I've gotten a lot of feedback on the Cardi video about Cardi having an ego, and that's the reason why, you know, she got caught up in a turf fault. Guess what? A lot of women get caught up thinking that they are different than another woman, and that's why he'll treat them different. Oh, I live on this part of town, and I'm not a city girl, so he gonna treat me different. I got naturally long hair, you know? I got light eyes. I got whatever it is they think that this man is going to treat them different based on what they demonstrate, based on what they have, whole time not recognizing. It's about his character, sweetie. And you can be dressed up in any damn exterior form, and he's still going to treat you that way because it's his character to treat you that way. It's not based on what you look like, what you're giving. You understand? And that's what women really need to start understanding when we out here. Need to I love the way that she said a lot of women have got to understand that it's not about the woman. It's about this man's character. Like you have so many people say, what kind of man cheats? What causes a man to cheat? What kind of man cheats? A cheater. What kind of man is faithful? A man who's faithful. A man who has morals and decent values. And like she said also, it doesn't matter whether you have your natural hair, whether you have your natural body parts, whether you have a beautiful face, a slamming body, it doesn't matter. Men will still drag you through the mud. Don't let them do that, sweetheart, because I ain't let no man drag me through the mud. That ain't happening. My mother raised me too well for me to put up with anyone cheating on me, deal breaker. For anyone to put their hand on me, that's the last time you put your hand on me. For anyone to disrespect me, make a pattern, a habit out of disrespecting me. And I'm gonna call you out on it. I will definitely call you out on it. And you know, men, they don't like women who have boundaries and standards. You know, those are the women who will find that they will be single, not alone, but single for a while. Am I marriage material? Am I wife material? I used to be. I was just married and dealing with the wrong type of men. But I got what I deserved for becoming unevenly yoked. Now, and I would never date a man or be with a man who was not willing to go to Christian meetings or have Bible studies. But the thing is, even though they was having Bible studies, they was just going through the motions, just going through the motions because they knew that was the only way you was going to be with Sheila True Love. I've never been with a man who refused to have Bible studies. That's not happening. But anyway, my mother, she put a lot of work into me. <clears throat> she worked hard. And she put a lot of work. And so did Jehovah God and so did Jesus Christ. That's why I said, you know, I will not be a disappointment to Jehovah, to Jesus Christ, nor to my mom. This is this lady you see right here in front of you. Amazing lady. She's my shero. She's my mentor. She was my best friend and she still is. I know she's looking out for me from her heavenly home. I love you, mommy. And I appreciate all that you've done and all that you've poured into me. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.